Hi, welcome to This Week in Property. I'm Jayashree Kurup. I'm editor Magic Bricks and I have with me Prabhakar Sinha. Prabhakar is real estate editor of the Times of India. And today, predictably, we're talking about the budget. Budget 2018 was not expected to give huge sops to the real estate sector and the government had very clearly been giving policy uh, directions throughout the year. Right, Prabhakar? So this time we're talking about what has the budget given to the real estate sector and you as a consumer, how well off are you? Are you just where you were or what is happening uh, in the real estate sector? Prabhakar. How do you rate this budget? How, it's more, uh, more like what has this budget given to the sector? Now, uh, just before the budget, the government has already announced that GST rate uh, on budget, particularly on affordable houses, uh, was reduced from 12% to 8%. So that was the basic demand of the developers also and the buyers also, because that would have removed the tax element in the entire sector. So it's so, made affordability, brought affordability to the affordable yeah, housing. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. they have brought down the price at least by 3 to 4% mm -hmm. in the cost of both. So after that, it, there was some expectation that he will give some shops to the buyers in the form of uh, deduction against the interest on home loan. Mm -hmm. uh, that was expected that it is right now 2 lakh to 2.5 lakh. That will increase to 3 lakh or 5 lakhs of rupees. And that was uh, not given. And uh, to many developers, to many buyers, or to many investors, that can be a bit of, uh, uh, I mean, uh, not very good frustration that, OK. Uh, but one thing is this, that government, as you were saying just now, that has tried to bring the real estate asset class in parity with the others' assets. and. Uh, at the same time, government has clearly, um, I mean, stated this time that they have a lot of other responsibility to carry. And uh, particularly, they are focusing in the rural sector, they are focusing in the health sectors. And particularly, as India is a developing country and a huge population is below poverty line, and for that, they need money. To that extent, they have tried to address the issue. So, those kind of a tax shops to the mid class. Our average mid class is, I mean, uh, simply put, government said that is not possible. And so, to that extent, budget is not very bad, not very good. I'll call it a neutral good budget uh, because uh, in the affordable segment, they had already given it. And uh, they tried to make the market more liquid. And that is why they have said that the differential price between the market and the uh, circle rate price uh, up to five percent will not be questioned. Let's let's talk about that because I think a lot of people uh, need need it spelled out uh, very uh, quickly. I think what has happened is that the uh, the circle rates had been fixed at a time when the markets had not gone down significantly. Over, after the circle rates were fixed across the country, the circle rates have uh, the market rates have dropped. Now, when uh, as consumers, you are able to uh, negotiate a better rate for your house. Does that mean that you have to pay, you had to pay a differential? You have to pay the uh, actual transaction rate or the circle rate, whichever was higher. Uh, you had uh, all the income tax authorities could come and catch hold of you. Now, the, what the government has done is that five up to a five percent variance between the circle rate and the uh, real estate uh, transaction rate is allowed and the uh, consumer yeah. can uh, that buffer has been given to the consumer of course this is a good thing but like Prabhakar said circle rates are still in in um, very expensive localities circle rates are well over 30 40 percent at variance with the market rates today and we believe that uh, the first thing that the government has done is acknowledge that there was a problem with the circle rates if there was a problem with the circle rates how can you fix it you have to fix it by regularly creating a process of regularly updating circle rates. And this has to be done by the urban local bodies, by the state governments and the local governments. Now, for that, 
IIM Bangalore is working with the uh, Bangalore Municipal Corporation and the Karnataka authorities to figure out what is the best interval within which circle rates can be uh, enhanced so that it is in, on par with the market rates. Now this is something that has, has to be fixed but the government has for the first time acknowledged that there is a problem with the circle rates. Right Prabhakar? No, it's double whammy. Let yeah. me tell you how. Now, so far there were certain judgment, certain court judgment, certain tribunal judgment that uh, when there is a difference between circle rate and transactional rate, transactional value, then the tax should be levied on the transactional value, not on the circle rate, because circle rate is an indicative price only. Now, here the government has said that circle, they agree to this, that circle rates at some of the point is higher than the transactional rate or the market rate. And if the difference is 5%, then they are ready not to question them by the tax authority. Right. Does it mean that if the differential is more than 5%, they will be questioned? Now, that means it's legalized. That has not it. been answered. That right? has been legalized now. Yes. That, because so far, when they were questioned, they used to be, I mean, the buyers or the sellers, they used to protest that you cannot question it because this is the transactional value or otherwise. Now, what, what used to happen? Now suppose the market rate of a flat is 1 crore, circle, according to circle rate it is 1.5 crores. Now differential is 50 lakhs. Now first of all you will have to pay stamp duty on 1.5 crore, not yeah. on 1 crore. Yeah. Fine, you paid the, the, the stamp duty also. But then tax authority comes in and they say that this 50 lakh rupees you must have paid in you cash. Have, you have paid, have paid in cash, so that means you had this much money which was unaccounted, so you paid tax on that. That is for the buyer. And for the seller, that you have taken this 50 lakh rupees in addition to this, so your capital gains tax will be enhanced by the 50 lakh of rupees. Yeah. And so now you pay capital gains tax on that entire amount, including that 50 lakh of yes. rupees. Now those buyers and the tax rate for that is 20% and 30%. So they are saying that, boss, we have not transacted at that price, we have transacted at 1 crore. Right. Now the issue is, that so far when this has happened, there was a judgment, there is a judgment uh -huh. uh, that would suggested that if the difference between the transactional value and the market value is there, then authority should not question and should go by the transactional value, provided this is genuine. And basically circle rate was fixed for this purpose only, that uh, people earlier used to understate the market value. However, the circle rates have now become, when the rates, the market rates go up, they update mm. the circle rates. Yeah, government they, never brings they down. They never bring down, never the, circle bring down the circle rates. The, I mean, we kept writing about it and in some of the market they did it, like in Gurgaon they did That's it, right. Calcutta did it. But even after doing this, still the market rate is much lower than the prevailing circle rate. Of that area. Only because the markets have been free fall for the last two years, right? Exactly. So the government should, as when the market was going up, so they were keep, kept increasing the circle rate. So when the market is falling, they should keep so they should reducing the circle. Reduce rate. it. That they are not doing it. That's right. So here, what I'll suggest that when he is saying that up to 5% differential tax authority, and he's saying it, the tax is leaving tax on from both buyer and seller after the when the transaction happens below the circle rate. Yeah. So that means he is accepting the fact that tax authority comes and question you. Yes. But when the transaction is happened at the transactional price, the market value, then why he should pay which was which on the money which is not existing at all. That's right. And if it is five percent then fine, okay they will not question. But if it is more than five percent, no five percent what is now tell me in many of the market today, the market price is 5,000 rupees or 4,000 rupees, 4,500. In Noida, in many of the sectors, the market price is 4,500 rupees and circle it is 6,000 rupees. Right. Now, the differential is 30% more than the market right. rate. Right. Now, the issue is this, that will the buyer, then what will happen now? That there will be no transaction? Because yeah. if you are in, in, I mean, entering into this kind of a transaction, then you'll have to pay. And not only this. Because they are saying that this is your unaccounted money, so you will be questioned further. Yes, yes. And you can be penalized also for yeah, that. Yeah. So what I am saying, I mean, what everybody in the developers are saying it, that either they should have... No been, circle rates. No circle, no, or they should not have linked it. They should yeah. just go by the transaction rate at the market price. And now they should have some other mechanism to do it. Now the issue is this, 
that even the stamp duty now the uh, local authority is collecting stamp duty at the increased price so yeah. that means they are taking the stamp duty 20% 25% are higher when the market is already depressed and they are levying why can you can, levy a, a higher circle a higher, circle, higher stamp duty a stamp duty then this makes the market rigid right because no transaction is happening right. and the rigidity in the any of the market of asset class is bad yeah actually the point that we're making is that the circle rate has been addressed for the first time yeah. the, the government in a budget speech acknowledging that there is a problem with the circle rate is a big issue uh, uh, going forward we believe that circle rates need to have a periodicity of addressed uh, uh, and they, they should increase this frequency to address this entire right. issue and they should try to bring it down to the market price absolutely at least every 6 months to a uh, year circle rates have to be uh, yeah. uh, corrected so that it is in line with the Uh, market rate. and now what the authority is saying that the circle rate and the transaction is happening in the circle rate that means there is no market whatever the government is keeping the circle rate right. on the transaction should happen at that price right. and that is not possible and right. when it is not possible when the markets are down and you are able to negotiate better rates the circle rate becomes redundant at that point of time the uh, yesterday when i was at the budget viewing prabhakar i heard one of the Uh, 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 participants saying that we have to constantly prove to the government that we are not thieves, exactly. that we are honest. If yeah. we are doing an honest transaction, the onus is on us not only to transact honestly, but also to keep proving to the government and the tax authorities that we are honest. Now, because there was such a large volume of cash transactions in the real estate sector uh, over a period of time. everybody has started assuming that if you transact in the real estate market you must be dishonest yeah exactly and there is something fishy in their market that's and right. so what this guys are i mean disclosing is not correct that's right and but what happened because of that now at least let me tell you uh, in many cases say in bhopal i am told that when the developers now the developers price is lower than the circle rate yeah and the developers are question that how come you sell like this and if you are selling then again authority is asking them the question now they are saying it ki boss we cannot hold the property we need to uh, liquidate and, and the best way to do it is to drop the values and if you are they are holding beyond 1 year of the completion yes, they have to pay a they have holding to pay the holding the, the deemed rental deemed income rent. will be taxed on in their hand absolutely so that's the but i believe here the government should be more proactive and they should have been taking this kind of a decision in much faster way Okay. From and 5% I believe is not not sufficient. adequate is not adequate yeah. they should have kept it at least 15% or 20% because in the present scenario market is like that okay. uh prabhaka another big thing that came in the budget uh, for the real estate sector was the affordable housing fund uh, 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 from the priority sector lending shortfall uh, also through uh, uh, to be augmented by the fully um, serviced bonds authorized by the government of india what is the implication of this no, for the affordable housing no, this sector this is a very good thing provided banks are giving starts giving loan to the developers but this is this is through the nhb and the nhb manages and nhb has been dealing from the rbi which means that the nhb becomes an independent entity and what it uh, monitor regulates is actually the housing finance that's institutions good. yeah that's good basically because because when the rbi is monitoring the banks banks are lending to various class of companies no now they are the collateral of the different types yeah. here in the case of real estate sector collateral is of a different type here is the real estate which is which can be monetized any time so here and so it should be regulated in a different fashion so nhb to that extent i believe will now be free to monitor the entire this sector so that is very good part mm -hmm. but only thing is this that now when it is put under the, uh, the this uh, priority sector and uh, they can reach from the priority sector funds should come and then the priority sector funds now suppose as the mandated by the government that a certain amount of the money must be lent by the bank under the priority sector so banks lend it aggressively but banks are wary to give loan directly to the developers uh -huh. because rbi frequently had stated that The risk weightage is very high. Risk weightage is very high. That means it is not a very preferable asset to loan, right, right, lend. Right. So the banks are taking that cue from there. They are right. not lending. So I believe now NHB will not have that kind of uh, tilt, and they will ask the their housing finance companies to go ahead. 
Now, only thing is, is it this. is the priority sector shortfall uh, going to be only to the HFIs or will it also go to the banks, the scheduled banks, which are going to be mo uh, monitored by the RBI? Obviously, but the scheduled bank will be giving loan to this HFI to lend to the housing sector, which is now under the priority sector lending. And through this mechanism, they will meet that uh, target of the priority sector lending. So is this good for the uh, HFIs or uh, to the entire, uh, entire sector? sector? Basically, entire sector. entire sector for the real estate sector. Because yeah. now look, uh, RBI said it, that if the loan amount is 10,000 crore, and more and that company is defaulting then go to the nclt mm -hmm. now because of that jp and some this kind of a company had to be taken to the nclt then they later realized it that this is not a very good i mean recourse yeah uh, because nclt might not be able to address the problem in the real estate sector company yeah but because under the rbi rules all comes under one category, so yeah. then they had to go there. Yeah. So if it will be under NHB and things like that, then I believe, I mean, this is the problem now being faced. It's a problem that has been, uh, that Real has not been a separate addressed. class. Yeah. Yeah. Real estate